next day. So out here on the food plot in the middle of the woods, getting ready to do some tillage and then lay down some seed. I got the uh, same seed I used last year, Arctic uh, brand uh, oats deer forage. So um, did well last year. I think I'll do well this year. So anyway, we got that and um, got the same disc set up, except it's on the it's all on the four wheeler this year so got the four wheeler hooked up to it I flip her over and get her going and we'll do that here in just a minute but anyways a couple other things to say look so no i have no no sling sling's gone off my arm so sling's gone i have a weight restriction how much i can lift i'm not telling you how much it is but there's a restriction and then um um, oh, and then I have a new addition. So I'll put a picture of, I got, I got a new puppy, Lily. She's a little um, Shishan, which is a Shih Tzu and a Bichon mix. So it's a tiny dog, but that's why I wanted a riding companion. Somebody who can be my companion driving back and forth and spend time up here, but riding in the ATV and such. Not a, not looking for like a sheep dog or something like that. But anyways, um, Anyway, so she's a little puppy, so she's real small. I'll put a couple pictures in, maybe a quick little video. So introduce her to the channel, so she'll be part of it. Lily, L-I-L-L-I-E, Lily. So uh, there you go. All right, I got a busy day. It's already in the afternoon. Um, so, and there's a big storm, Ida coming. So I want to get this tilled and the seed thrown uh, before that. So let me see when we can get done. All right. Dave out.
next day. So let's talk seed a little bit. What kind of seed am I using? So I said at the beginning, it's called the uh, Arctic brand deer oat. Um, it's uh, what I used last year and it was really, it did really well. Had a, I thought a really good germination and it lasted phew, into December, almost into January. Um, it was very hardy, so, and the deer hit it really hard. Had a tough time for it to get going originally because the deer were eating it so fast. So the things I like about it, and hopefully you can read those, but uh, if you look, there's very few things in there, but seed for oats, and um, which I like. And so to me, that makes uh, a big difference. Um, Unfortunately, I lost my glasses, so I can't read any of those numbers. But uh, but I do know from looking at it before, it has a very high uh, percentage of germination and uh, very few trash seeds in there. So that's what you're looking for. Now, it, it doesn't really matter, you know, what you're using for your food plot. Use what you like the best. Whatever you think will attract the deer the most. But stay away from things that have a mix. You know, it's a food plot mix. Not all mixes are bad but some have stuff in it you don't really want. Um, they'll have some grasses in it the deer just don't really eat. So, and that's not what you want in your food plot. So I pick oats because I know last year the deer showed a, a real good desire for it. It was real, worked really well for me in Virginia. So, and it's so far it's worked for all here. I didn't see any reason to change. Um, so uh, anyways, let me get it sewed out there, but um, Deer Creek Seed Company, I'll put the link um, they do a really good job. I have no complaints with them. They uh, come through with uh, with the order in a timely manner, and um, they have really helpful stuff on their website. So, anyways, it's easy to order from. It shows right up at your door. Maybe it's a little pricier than something you get at Tractor Supply or Bass Pro Shop, but in the end, I think it's a better quality. So maybe that's important. It is to me, but maybe it's not to everybody. All right, Dave out. Hey, it's Dave. So I'm at the uh, food plot by the Pinelands. Get ready to disc and seed this one. Got the other one done. So, uh, but with great loss. I lost my glasses. I hit uh, a vine and it hit my face and um, made me a bloody lip. But also, I <laughs> flung my glasses somewhere. I can't find them. Tore my hat off. So I stopped the ATV and looked all around and I couldn't find it. So I don't know where they went. So, oh, there goes 300 bucks. I'll find them, I guess, if, I, if a raccoon or something doesn't grab them. Anyway, what a mess. That's the way it goes. All right, let me turn you around so you can see what we got going on.
Hey, it's Dave. I got my uh, Santa Claus glasses on. Because, you know, I can see, well, one, I only have one eye. But with that one eye, I can see distance fine. It's up close, I struggle with. But I wear glasses all the time to protect the eye. So now I'll just be like this until I can find them. They gotta be out there. Uh, I'll bring some of one of my kids to help me find it. Find my glasses. All right, close this video out. So it was a busy day. We got uh, got a lot done. Uh, we got both food plots seeded. I wouldn't say it's the best job I've ever done, but we got it done. Uh, this whole shoulder thing really put me behind. I'm always saying that, but it's always something put me behind. Huh, I wonder. But um, anyway, we got it done. And uh, other than losing my glasses, everything else was worked out fine. So um, I got a, I got fertilizer to put down, but I don't know if I should put it down until the seeds have sprouted. I don't want to burn the, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. So I haven't figured that out yet. It's just a simple 13, 13, 13 fertilizer, real basic. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't want it. I want to put it down. So I don't know. We got to figure it out. All right. So like I say, uh, I said that again. I said I wasn't going to do that. All right. So um, thanks for watching. If you're here at the end, I really appreciate it. You made it all the way. Yay. Um, and uh, make kindness your business. Do something kind for somebody. Uh, it just takes a second. All you got to do. When somebody wants to cut in in front of you, just let them. Don't get angry about it. It's hard to do, but try it. All right. Anyway, hope you have a great one. And Dave, out.